The last thing I want to show you is actually a very simple CRM. So in another section of this course, I talk about a very robust CRM tool called Airtable. However, at its very core, customer relationship management systems are essentially a lead, a client lead, and an end result, which is usually a sale. So a CRM that's very simple and free can actually be a really great way for you to help run your VA business. So I'm gonna do, let's label this CRM pipeline, or it can be customer pipeline, whatever you want. Now, theoretically, as you're running your VA business, you'll need to know the kind of clients that you're pitching, what happened to those pitches? Did anybody respond? Did people tell you, uh, sounds great, but not right now? Did any of your pitches result in a sale? And Buckets is a really great way for you to track exactly who you're pitching or talking to as you're growing your business. So we've created a new CRM pipeline. And what I wanna do first is simply rename these cards. So all I'm going to do to actually change the title is just click on to do. One click is all you need. And I'm gonna relabel this pitching. I'm going to relabel this second one, status, and let's do signed. So this is a very oversimplified example of what your own CRM could be, but anytime I pitch a new client, I'm just going to make up some people. Um, I pitched Alexander, uh, I pitched Alex, and I pitched Rebecca. So I pitched three people. Now here's where I can go in. Once again, I can click, I can get more detailed. I can say sent pitch on LinkedIn on April 5th. Click save to save that note. Let's see, pitched on Twitter on April 10th. And Rebecca, let's say met in person at grocery store because it's always handy to talk to people wherever you are pitched on 412. so these are my notes to help me remember who i've pitched when i pitched them how i did it um, status would be you know what now that i'm thinking about this i don't want to name it status i want to do two different cards just thinking this through live Let's add a new column. So we have on hold and let's do moving forward. Okay, so I'm going to shift these around. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, it's very easy to just drag and drop these cards. Um, you can also change the color. So on hold, I could do red. Uh, moving forward, I could do green. And you don't have to do colors, but I do like to do colors as like a quick mental thing. Easy to look at. Okay. Okay, I think this makes a little more sense. So um, let's just say I did pitch Alex and he says your services are great, but not right now. I'm gonna put him on hold. Um, maybe Alex wants to go ahead and move forward. I pitched him, he really likes my rates. And maybe Rebecca has already signed. If we wanna get even more detailed about exactly what's going on with each client, we totally can. We can click back on this guy who's on hold and we can add a new note. And underneath I can say, uh, Alexander is on hold until end of the year. This could be a nice reminder for me to loop back with him after December. Maybe he's gonna be in the position to look for a new VA then. I can even add a reminder. This is where reminders are handy. And let's do December 30th, save. So now that I've set a reminder to this particular card, I will actually get both a notification on Buckets itself. So if I'm in Buckets, the card will actually turn a different color on December 30th, and I will get an email. An email to whatever email address you signed up with, you'll get a reminder from Buckets saying, don't forget to reach out to Alex. So this is a nice way to keep track of people. Again, if you have um, certain people who are on hold and you wanna repitch them later on. So it's the same thing moving forward. Uh, maybe for this, you wanna add a checklist of items you need to do next. You need to get contract to Alex. You need to define scope of work and you need to agree upon rate. 
So we know we're working on that. You can see here you've done zero of the three things on your checklist that you need to get done before your contract gets signed. So again, very, very simple CRM, but the nice thing about buckets is that there's really no limitation on what you can do. I definitely recommend if you're in the market for a new CRM and you want it to be simple or you need a new system to manage your own tasks or even manage the kind of people that you're pitching, that buckets be the one that you look into. Don't forget to use the sandbox feature because that's definitely one of the best things about this whole entire program.